All right. So the trailer's gonna get a bit of an upgrade today. Needs a little bit of maintenance. We're gonna put these Caliber Products Low Pro Glides on, they're Low Pro Grip Glide. We're gonna replace these things that came with this old clamshell trailer. These were actually just falling out. <laughs> so it's time to change them. They're getting all worn. And if you have one of these trailers, you're gonna notice your skis, once they get in there, you can't really get them out. They sort of get locked in there. But with those low pro grip glides, you can sort of move around, put the sled where you want. So we're gonna get rid of these. Don't like them. When the trailer's on an angle full of snow, you have a tendency to slip down them. That's no good either. Then we're gonna put these edge glides on now. These are a really good thing. These attach here, they're hinged. They go up inside the trailer but these keep you from driving your ski or your carbide in underneath here, stopping your sled dead. I broke a ski on my poor land, my son's a land, one of them just went like that the other day, got caught on here. And if you look, let me see, where's that hole? Right here, check this out. I don't know if you can see that hole right there or not. That's where the 540 Monster land carbide stuck into there, the runner. Keeley's face went right into the handlebars, busted his nose up, that million dollar smile of his, we almost lost it. So there's another example, you know, you gotta have these things. These are pretty cool. These are gonna be nice, a very nice addition to this trailer. So that's it, we're gonna install these today, upgrade this trailer, it's gonna be awesome. And one other thing, we've got these grips. Now everybody's asking me for old snowmobile tracks. All my friends call me up, you got an old snowmobile track, I wanna put it on my trailer. Well, you're gonna use these instead. These are called the grips. These just go onto your trailer and these are gonna offer the grip that that old track would do, but probably even a little bit better. So we're gonna install those today. Keely doesn't even know this is going on. He's gonna like all this. Get this out of here. Started on some of these. But they only used really short screws. They only went in about a quarter of an inch into that plywood. So they came out pretty easy. I think in the next year or two, we're gonna be looking at a new deck for this. Just gonna clean this deck off. A bunch of old stuff on here. There we go. Right on. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put those low pro grip glides on there. Everything you need comes in this box, all your grip glides, all your fastening hardware. I did get this from Kimpex.com here in Canada. These things are great. We just installed these on our sled deck. I'm loving them. So I've got all my hardware here. I'm gonna start from the back, I'm gonna work my way up. And the key with these, because they're plastic and because of the temperature fluctuations, they're gonna expand and contract and you don't wanna put them together. You wanna to leave about three eighths of an inch in between each one. But this one here, we're gonna start off right like this. Now these ones are fixed, the ones in the middle, but the ones on the ends have this little collar on them and they go in here but midway to allow for expansion and contraction. You don't tighten them down too much or they're not going to work the way they're supposed to. This 
This is a pretty easy process. It's going to be a big improvement over what we had, that's for sure. Just being able to pull in, sort of steer onto this. Sometimes you pull two sleds in, they're too close together. You want to slip something between them, a sleigh or something else. It's a real pain in the butt with those old style. Not with these. The reason I know is because we have them on our truck. And we tried them already and they're awesome. There's my gap in between. It's going to allow for expansion both ways. And now's the time to be doing this because we just got kind of a nasty spell of weather through here. Had some rain. And the rain ruined all our snow locally. So now's the time we get all the maintenance things done. Done a bunch of work to my rev. Get the trailer done. There are a bunch of projects in the shop we're working on right now. Contemplating the Monster Elan 800, working on that right now. So, lots to do. But for us right now, the important part is to get sledding and be ready when it comes, the snow. These are all stainless steel screws. The original ones that came on it weren't. They were half rust, rusted, rotten, falling right out. But you can't beat this trailer. Nice clamshell, keeps all the debris and salt off your sled. And it's aluminum. Right there. The aluminum's awesome, nice and light, pulls easily. So now this one's just a little bit too long. You know, I contemplated moving these all back onto that aluminum piece, uh, a little ramp at the very back, but we're gonna put those little um, glides on there. So I'm gonna have to just trim a little bit off the front of this. You guys could do it either way. If we went right to the back, these would totally fit no problem. It'd take four each way, but Sometimes I do things differently, right? Now that front seal is going to seal up against the wood. It will still expand and contract when I mount these in here, along here. That's where it's going to make its movement, more or less. So here. Now, technically speaking, the carbide doesn't really go all the way up to the front. I could have ended it back here probably somewhere, but might as well use all that extra traction we can. A lot of times up in front of these slides, we'll open up that front little door there and throw our gas cans and our gear. So, you know, this stuff will keep our gear from sliding around. That's a good thing. Okay, next slide. how much I need to take off the front, so I'm going to do that right now. So look at that. Magically, there's enough in the box to do one trailer. These guys were thinking. I'm just going to work my way up, right, using those middle ones. Get them all in place. These are a lot longer than the original screws. 
It's a good thing. So I'm just going to find the middle here. So 22 and 3 quarter inches to this outside. That's where I want to be. Right there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use these middle mounting holes here. And then I'm going to work my way all up there and then I'll come back and I'll put the the little grommets in there. That's easy enough. Right beside there. Sweet. So all the instructions are in the box, of course. You know, there's some little spots that look like their screws go in, but they'll tell you no screw goes in there. I already cut off these front ones. This one's here. Five, two and three quarters. It's not too bad. Caliber makes all kinds of different things. A caliber makes all kinds of different trailer products to make your life easier. And they do. Loading in and out definitely makes a big difference with these low pro grip glides. So it's caliberproductsinc.com. I mean, usually I eyeball this kind of thing, right? But I can't eyeball everything. You guys get mad at me if I do. No, we don't eyeball everything. on. Now I'm just going to put in those other screws. It's in time to install these grips. Don't install them this way because your track will want to tear them out. Install them this way right here. Everything you need to install these comes in the box. Put this one fairly close to the edge. Now these are going to be good, not only for loading your sled, but to keep it in place while you're trailering it. Sometimes you look in the back and your sleds are off on an angle if you haven't tightened them down well enough. I put these out a little too far. Should have put them in a little bit more, but an inch and a half. Inch. As per instructions which I'm sometimes guilty of not looking at. Now, if you didn't have this in here like we have, I would just put two in the middle, that's it. So each box has six grips in it. I'm gonna put six all the way up let me see, how far will we space those? If I put a foot between, uh, let's see what we're gonna do. How will that look? He 
you know what, that's going to be good because I have those little lands and the track ends right about here. So that would be just perfect. Don't tell anybody I was using a measuring tape, please. I have a reputation to uphold. So I test fitted a couple of these edge glides. Now, every trailer is different. All the extrusions on the back of these trailers are all different that I've seen. So you know you might have to just run a test fit to make sure it's all going to fit. Now it doesn't look like it drops down, but when this trailer is angled, it's not that bad. I can't come out anymore because it interferes with the seal up here. So this is where it has to be. If I come out anymore and I try to fold it up, it's going to hit the seal. I can't close my door. If I want to put it all the way, then I'm not going to be able to put them away. They're just going to always hang out. So they actually work that way. We tested them. All looks good. The one thing you need to do, at least for this application, is put your screws in from the bottom the nuts on the top. If the nuts are on the bottom, they interfere with this here and it won't close very well. It'll sort of stay up like that. Now we could do a couple of things here too. I might take this and grind this edge a little bit. If I grind that edge, this is actually going to come down more. So we'll see. We like to make things fit here. Now this one's sort of offset a little bit. I kind of wanted it like that because of the narrow ski stance on the Elan, be able to get that up there with no issues. And this one goes right about here. Now I'm not plunging that drill down too deep because there is the wiring for the harness in there. Don't want to wreck that. putting all the, these two outer ones into place, then I'll drill the inners. Now I know I'm kind of safe to go in that far because these big long lag bolts just came out of there to make room for that, so we're good. It. Now we're going to just clean this up, test fit cold disease. So there you go. Low pro grip glides, the grips for the tracks, going to be awesome. In and out of there, no problem. You can steer along these low pro grip glides, which is great. They're very tough and resilient. I've been running them on the other truck on my sled deck, and uh, I don't notice any cutting of the plastic really at all. Got these, I'm gonna give those a try, those are gonna be fun. Just gonna do a quick little fitting test here. That's it, as long as I can get that pin in there, which I can, I'm happy. That's it, there's only one thing left to do. Yep, one thing. There. Caliber, you need to send me a bigger sticker. <laughs> so I got to thank the guys at Caliber Products Incorporated. Great products, can't wait to use them here. They're awesome on our sled deck. When you want to buy them, you can contact Kimpex.com. They're a big supplier here in Canada or any one of their authorized dealers. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Caliber out on Facebook, and we'll see you again. I got to thank you guys for coming.